In this video, I'm gonna show you my top six AI tools for graphic design and how I use them to create this entire brand from start to finish. Let's get started. So the first AI tool I'm gonna to show you is ChatGPT. Now, I know, don't click off the video, I know you've already heard of this thing. I'm hoping I can show you how to use it in a little bit different way that applies to graphic designers. So, the first thing you need to know about ChatGPT, it's a better version of Google. Can you create a list of 10 fake business companies that would appeal to graphic designers? Describe each one. I'm gonna see if I can come up with a fake brand so we can have something to use in this video. This first one sounds pretty interesting. It's called Pixelcraft Studios, which kind of sounds like Minecraft. Who doesn't love Minecraft? It says Pixelcraft Studios specializes in creating unique pixel art designs for retro inspired gaming projects. I think that sounds cool. I'm not even gonna read the rest. Now we have a name, we kind of know what the company's about. I'm gonna try to create a logo. We're gonna try to create maybe a poster or something. Trying to make a bunch of things using AI tech. Brand identities and things like that can be really difficult, especially when you're working with a brand that isn't your own and you have to come up with like pixel art gaming and you don't know anything about that. Tagline, reviving nostalgia, crafting pixels. That is terrible. <laughs> now the brand persona is playful, nostalgic, and creative. That is helpful to know. Values, innovation, craftsmanship, and retro charm. And the tone is approachable and enthusiastic. If you haven't worked with target personas, it's basically like who is the person that would buy your product. ChatGPT came up with Alex Retro Gamer, which is a very coincidental last name. <laughs> 28 years old. He's an indie game developer and he's interested in retro gaming, pixel art, and nostalgia. His goal is to create visually appealing nostalgic games and his challenge is finding unique pixel art for game projects. That's where our brand Pixelcraft Studios is going to come into play. Then I asked ChatGPT to come up with a couple of logo concepts. I like it's this emblem style logo. It's kind of playing off of the video game vibe while also saying that it is a design firm. And the last thing it gives me, which I didn't even ask for, I didn't ask for half this stuff, the business card, a website, and a merchandise, and it gives me ideas on how to do that. So the next thing I wanna show you is how to create a logo concept using AI. We're gonna go to firefly.adobe.com. Adobe has been coming out with a lot of really cool AI technology. What I want to show you today is text to image. In today's world, you can come up with whatever you want. So this picture here is a man sitting outside a cafe in Paris drinking coffee. That's not a caption. That's what they typed in to generate this fake picture of this fake man. There's a lot of different software for this. There's Dolly, there's Mid Journey, there's a hundred other programs, even Google's got one now. But what I want to show you is Firefly because I believe it's the easiest and the best for our workflow as graphic designers. So let's go back to chat and get our logo concept. An emblem style logo featuring pixelated tools like a brush, forming a shield, symbolizing craftsmanship. I'm gonna put that prompt in here. I'm gonna make sure to say 8-bit because we want it to be pixelated. A brush and a pencil forming a shield. And now we go over here and hit generate. And any day now. <laughs> there it is. Wow. 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 Holy crap. I'm making this video and I did not realize that it was gonna be that good. This one in particular, that is amazing. I really recommend Firefly and it's because of this interface on the side. This sidebar really gives you a lot of control. So you can change the aspect ratio. You can also put another photo in that you wanna reference from and it will copy that style. And then my favorite part is all of this stuff down here. So if I said make it cyberpunk or I clicked on maximalism or as many effects as I want, it will change this to match those effects. And that's really, really easy instead of having to come up with these prompt ideas yourself and then try to work with like mid journey to create this. There's one that's just like simple. And I might want to use that on this to get a simpler pixel art because this is a pretty heavy pixel art right now. And also when you type in your prompt, it gives you suggestions on how you can make your prompt even better and different things that you can add to it. This helps encourage you make them as long as possible to give you as much detail because these things are robots and they want the details. So that's really helpful too. And those are just some of the reasons why I really like Firefly. I am wondering if there's a pixel art. Oh, there it is, pixel art. And let's generate another set and see if we get something even better. That was only our first try. Oh, snap. I'm so in love with the first one, I can't even hide it. These aren't bad. I'm gonna get rid of simple. 
Oh, what's what's that? Why why am I pretending to drink out of a fake coffee mug? Thank you for asking. <laughs> it's actually because um, this is our Grayson's Graphics coffee mug. You can get it in yellow. You can get it in a variety of colors. The gradient background will always be there. It's a beautiful coffee mug. I really like it. It's meant to look like a little rainbow gradient like you would find in Photoshop. And you can snag one of these at graysonsgraphics.com where you can also get that sick color palette sweater. Just saying. Oh, snap. Um, I gotta go with this one. I just love it so much. The next tool I want to show you. So if we go back to the main screen of Firefly with text effects, it's very similar to the same concept. We're going to come up with some typography to pair alongside our logo. Prompt we're going to say is pixel art. Whoa. So what Adobe has been going for with this software is it's a way to make really cool custom typography. I like how it has the pixels flying off. Let's see if this loads up. Yeah, that's pretty fun. So the last Firefly program I want to show you, not sponsored by the way, but I wish it was. <laughs> <laughs> text to template. This will generate a template with whatever you type in. I'm just gonna say pixel art graphic design company. That way it's a little bit more specific. Bringing your idea to life. Whoa, whoa, wow, that rocket ship, that stands out. I don't think it's much of a template. I just click generate variations so it's making more like that rocket ship. These are very cool but I want it to be more of like a flyer. Oh wow that's really cool. I'm already in love. Okay so now we're in Adobe Express and we have an editable template. This stuff all looks like stuff that already exists, but the cool thing about the AI technology of today is that all of it is custom made and these are not repeating information. I'm going to steal this little template out of Adobe Express so we can get into Illustrator and use a big boy program. I'm going to take our little pixel logo, drop it in here, and I'm going to take our cool pixel text and drop it in here too. And now we can really start crafting like a little flyer or something. Okay, so now we kind of have something that we can work with here. I've kind of dark in the design a little bit. I've made the same color as our logo, so now we got some consistency in our brand going on. Now, I'm gonna put our font in. You know, as cool as it was, I don't think we're gonna be able to realistically use it if we want this to look anything like a professional brand. <laughs> Okay, so now we have a pretty decent flyer without much effort, but there's this big kind of space right here. Do you guys see all this? I feel like we should have a little something there, but I don't have a vector graphic to put there. Don't worry. If you just draw a box or you do anything in Illustrator really, you can get this pop-up to come up. Hit that and then you can describe the vector graphic you want to generate. Just like we did before where we made the logo, we can do that directly in Illustrator. The other cool thing about this mode that I want to try is this style picker button. And I'm going to click on our logo up here and it's going to choose that style to kind of replicate with our art supplies. Okay, we have made pixel art now, but it's totally not art supplies. Luckily, we get some other variations paintbrushes in a cup. So let's drag this sucker in there and fill up that white space. And now we have a complete flyer. The last AI tool inside Illustrator before we get to the next one is AI Recolor. So Illustrator's always had this recolor tool where you could kind of pick different colors and stuff, but now they have generative recolor. So similar to how we've been doing, you type in what you want and it will make that color palette and apply it to this image. I'm gonna say coffee beans. That one looks pretty good right here. So I made it brown and it made it look like coffee bean, which is pretty neat. I'm going to keep it as it is for our specific purposes, but I definitely wanted to show you guys that before we move on. This next program is really cool. I really like it. It's called Illusion Diffusion. So you just Google that. It's going to be this first one that comes up, Hugging Face Illusion Diffusion. I'm going to drop our logo file in here. Down here is where you enter your prompt. This is going to create sort of like a background. So for this, I'm going to say an arcade. That would be perfect. If it doesn't come out right, you just take the illusion strength scale here and just boost that sucker up. <laughs> so this isn't working that well because this is a very complicated logo. Most logos aren't quite this complicated. The idea is it's supposed to look something like this. So it's taking the Nike logo and it's kind of like transforming the background and it's creating this illusion. Uh, that's really, really cool. So I had to simplify our logo quite a bit down to uh, just the core of it to make this even kind of work. I put it to about 1.68. That worked for me. You just play around with this. Give it a prompt. I said 80s pop. Let's see where ours is at. Boom. For whatever reason, 
and mine doesn't work that well. <laughs> but regardless, let's see if we can make one of those cool little animations. Okay, so this is what I've got so far. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty random. Doesn't really look like our logo. Sometimes these things work and sometimes not so much. This was still pretty fun to try and more than likely it will work on your logo. Mine just didn't work because it was kind of a pretty complicated pixel art logo. Okay, are you ready? Drum roll. I present to you the Pixel Craft Studios brand generated by AI. So we've got our poster here, a little polo for the graphic designers to wear. I made this cool little like monitor like website and I used our cool word art and even like a little letterhead and business card. We use ChatGPT to come up with the brand name, but also the brand identity, a target persona, and lastly, most importantly, the logo concept. We brought that into Adobe Firefly where we used Adobe Firefly to actually create this logo. We use the text generator to make this little wordmark logo. Then we used Adobe Express to make the template for our flyer, brought that into Adobe Illustrator, used their text vector to get this little paint bucket in the bottom. Then we used Adobe Generative Recolor to recolor that. And lastly, we used Illusion Diffusion to create this really weird, wacky, but eye-catching video. We were able to make an entire brand from scratch using AI in a pretty decent amount of time where this might've taken weeks otherwise. Now, am I trying to advocate for making making brands with artificial intelligence. No. <laughs> I just want to show you all the tools that are available because this is just a small portion of all of the crazy things that are going on in this AI world. And there's a lot that you can do with it. I see this as a tool for inspiration for graphic designers. There's a lot of different ways that you can use these things to your advantage to still make original and creative content. Let me know what you plan on using AI for or if you plan on using it at all in the comments below and I'll see you next week. This one goes out to Sandy. Oh, it's done. <laughs>